primarily working with Horsby Disco um, sort of came about in a roundabout way so through friendships and music that they'd already kind of built up with uh, Darren Morris. They'd been in the studio, they had a lot of instrumentals. I had that conversation with Luke saying, oh, Power Dance is, is just exactly what I had imagined Horsemeat Disco's music would sound like. And then I told him about, about the demos and then he listened to the demos and he said, there's loads to work with here, we can do something with it. Initially, it was all about the songwriting. We were trying to get the songs and the moments happening. And then that kind of grew into what kind of record that this needed to be, what what they wanted it to be and representative of all of their individual tastes. Once we got that into a place, it was then about how do we want it to sound. But we wanted to use real music because really the influences that we all come from, apart from the more electronic side of things, but from definitely the disco and soul kind of perspective, it was all live music, live musicians. So we wanted to bring that in. That's, that's, that's our spirit. I mean, the spirit is all of us for. Working with them all is an easy process because we're, we're, we're so close so it's easy to me to get in their heads and be the facilitator in all of those things we kind of started to set a, a wish list of singers that we wanted to add to these instrumentals and uh, with that in mind Kathy Sledge was the top of that list I done some things with Simon years ago with Roger Sanchez and this was way before you know glitter bots we were doing things. They'd written a song called Falling and they sent it over to me. I did some production work on it and then we just sent it to Kathy with the top line on and she came back straight away and was like, yes, I love it. And that kind of opened a door and we went on to, we've actually written three or four, no, maybe five or six songs with Kathy. Well, no, I would meet up with um, Chris Penn and Luke Howard. You know, we were all writers. And we were a writing team and it all came together so well, like the, the lyrics. Lyrically, if one person couldn't feel what the next line should be, the other person instantly got it. So the formula and the chemistry worked really well. And now we have a song that I love. But I was sure that the message that we've got there, it, it's there. That's For me, that was a big part of the songs I was involved with. You know, it's about just embracing joy and love, basically. The, the title is Love and Dancing, exactly as we said. We're a night in a pub in Vauxhall. Yeah, we've been going for 16 years, but that's where we come from, you know, we're just a bunch of DJs putting on some, a fun party on a Sunday night. And to be now putting out an album and working with people like Luke, with singers like Ndeye Davenport, Kathy Sledge, Amy Douglas, um, it's just, you know, it's amazing. It's a dream come true.